What does he have in common with Dwight Gooden? Dwight was just a two-pitch guy. The best strikeout phenom pitchers, starting pitchers in baseball history. He's in that group. I wanted to look at strikeout rate. God. 20 and younger. I'm playing. Dwight Gooden was the best phenom I ever saw. Fastball, curveball, that was it. Just amazing. Rick Ankiel. Rick. We kind of forget Ankiel when he came out of the gate. He's breaking records set by Dizzy Dean, Cardinals franchise with strikeouts. Jose Fernandez, before we called him the sweeper, who could throw that breaking ball better than Jose Fernandez? He was a phenom at the age of 20. So, Yuri Perez is in this kind of group of all time strikeout phenoms. 20 and younger, we're looking at strikeout rate. Only Doc, at 19, by the way, he's on the list twice, had a higher strikeout rate at age 20 after 10 starts. I mean, this is phenomenal. What I love about him is once he gets strike one on you, you're done. When he controls count leverage, Yuri Perez is the best wow. pitcher in baseball. After strike one, 119. Nobody's been that low since Jacob DeGrom in 2021. So you say, what is it about this guy? You know about the ghost fork and Snell's breaking ball. Yeah. What is it about Yuri Perez that makes him so dominant once he's got count leverage on you? Well, let's look at it because he's got four different pitchers. I said good in that two. He's got four premier pitchers. Got to start with the fastball. 98 to 100 with that heater. Doesn't matter if he throws it in the middle of the zone. That plays. The run on the fastball oh is amazing. My. So when you break down the fastball, I want to show you something interesting. Looking at fastball metrics here, percentiles, fastball velocity, fastball spin, and extension. All the things you want. to be able to get These out are there. the only three pitchers in baseball with elite metrics across the board on the fastball. Okay, that's how special the fastball is. But wait a second, he's got more than the fastball. Just that alone would have been enough. Let's look at his other complement of pitches. The slider is freaky because there's not a lot of movement. That was 83. That's 87 normal. And he can also get that to 89 and 90. So he changes speeds on it. Curveball. This is an amazing pitch because watch, stop it here. You see how his hand is on the side of the ball? Yeah. Most curveballs are going to be maybe at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. He's so much on the side. Thero, as a hitter, you knew if that ball came up out of the hand, that's what you were looking for. Ball. But because he gets on the side of the baseball, it comes out of his hand like a fastball. It doesn't go up. See that hold this plane? And look at the bite on that pitch. That's a tight spin on it. So that curveball is just mm. filthy that hitters don't read out of the hand. Change up might be his best pitch. Now, this is to right handed hitters. Goes straight down. That is a ground ball waiting to happen. Watch the bottom fall out straight down. But now you put a left handed hitter in a box, he throws a different change up. He'll fade it away. Here's an 0 1 pitch to Varsha. Ooh. You see that? Might as well throw it again. Even nastier moving on that. So now you're talking about a four pitch guy. I want to show you something, Dero. I'm going to show you a, a bloop hit, okay? He's given up one hit <laughs> on curveballs and changeups the whole First year. First off, his changeups 92 miles an hour. Curveball, like and this is a guy who throws 100 miles an yeah. hour, and I'm showing you all year his curveballs and changeups and what hitters have done with them. One hit out of 205 pitches. How is that possible? Here's the only hit, by the way. It's a curveball that is literally off the end of the bat. <laughs> A blue pit. The bullet in the box score the next morning. Right off the end of the bat. So that's the only hit off his changeup and curveball all year long. It's unfair that someone who can throw 100 miles an hour with that elite speed? extension speed and spin can deaden the ball the way he does with the changeup. Is there a way to protect him and like well, here's the thing. Keep Giro. him viable for them. He's 20 down years old, third pro season. He's already thrown more innings than he has in the other two seasons. Just over 78. Are the Marlins going to let him so throw I gotta 150 be pitches? He can't throw 150 uh, 50 innings. Why? It's too much. You can't pack on. This is where I get so frustrated. Zero. If you're running a 5K, you're going to run a marathon the next day. You just can't do it, especially at the age of I'm 20. I'm with you. His mechanics are not pristine. He still has to iron things out at 20, at six foot eight, being a tall guy. It's not perfect mechanics. Bring I him out be, of the pen, the pole. Bring him out of the pole. pole. I, I think they're going to have to limit to him about 100 innings this year, 110. Oh, That's boy. about it. So put the brakes on the second half. Give him a little three week vacation. Don't, do, don't do that to Skippy like that. Uh -huh. Let him have his horses. <laughs>